Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there. For a fun one here today, we're going to be playing some Demir Zombie Mill. That's right, you heard me right. We are playing a Zombie Mill deck. So this is an infinite mill combo that we have going on here that we can... Technically, we can kill people as early as turn four, uh, even though that's that's kind of hard to put together. We would have to curve out with... Excavator on turn two, Adaptation on turn three, and then Liliana on turn four, and then they're dead. Um, but, and we'd have to have a cha Chamber Sentry in hand. But it's technically possible to kill people on turn four with this deck. So basically, we have a four-card combo here. Those four cards that I just mentioned. So we'll kind of go, th go through them each one by one. Let's start with the Excavator. So we need the Excavator in play. And so this is whenever you cast a Historic Spell... Target player puts the top two cards of their library into the graveyard. So early on in the game, you can be targeting yourself to help turbo mill yourself, be able to help you flip your Escanta faster, uh, and get Chamber Sentry in the graveyard. That's that's a, a key point to the deck, is you want your Chamber Sentry in the graveyard. Um, or in your hand is fine, but, you know, either one. You know, if you, know, you can't just have it in your library. You either have to have it in your hand or in your graveyard. Uh, whenever you start... Uh, Whenever you start going off, I guess, or like whenever you're, you have your combo assembled, you're going to be targeting your opponent and milling them twice for every historic spell you cast. That historic spell we'll be casting is, of course, Chamber Sentry, which can cost zero mana. Uh, if you know if you play it for zero, it's just a zero, zero, it dies. So that doesn't seem like that does a whole lot. Well, if you see Liliana has has the ability just to ultimate immediately as you play it so liliana has four has four mana has four loyalty minus three you can cast zombie cards from your graveyard so let's just pretend chamber sentry was a zombie we could cast chamber sentry from the graveyard if it's a zombie and we could we could spend zero mana to cast it and then doing that of course would trigger the excavator and, and mill somebody too and then it would go back to the graveyard and you can still cast zombie cards from your graveyards so then you'd be able to cast your chamber sentry again and you keep on doing this over and over and over again the problem is chamber sentry is a construct hey crimson run with that twitch prime sub welcome back thank you so much for that resub there let's get our sub bell countdown going down to 118 so unfortunately chamber sentry is not a zombie it, it it was constructed, so it's a construct. So we need it to turn it into a zombie, and that's where our arcane adaptation comes in. Whenever it enters the battlefield, we can choose a creature type. We will choose zombie, and so then all of our creatures you control and creatures spells you control that and creature cards you own that aren't on the battlefield. So all creature cards that we own that aren't on the battlefield, such as creature cards in our graveyard, those will be zombies. So then we'll be able to uh, just use the chamber sentry. So this is a pretty resilient combo, honestly. You don't you don't need to have anything. Really, you don't need to have anything on the battlefield if you have enough mana. Uh, whenever they untap, hey, thanks, James. Uh, you know, it's nice to have arcane adaptation on the battlefield already. Uh, but I guess technically, if you have nine mana, if you can just play Liliana, arcane adaptation, and excavator, you can just go off from there. But um, if you just have, so if you just have like arcane adaptation in play, if you have six mana, you can just, and like you could, you could have like the excavator and the sentry in your graveyard that you like milled over, or like they already killed your excavator kind of stuff. You just have these in your graveyard. If you just have this in play and you have six mana and you could have like no cards in hand and adaptation in play, then you just draw Liliana. You get to just spend four, play Liliana, minus three, cast cast the excavator from your graveyard and then start casting your chamber sentries and just kill your opponent so it's it's a pretty resilient combo you can kind of even wait it's you know it's similar to like feldar guardian plus um sahili rai if you played a little while ago while those were while those were uh in standard that was the same kind of thing you needed like six mana and those two cards you didn't have to have anything on the battlefield at the time and if your opponent tapped out you could just boom slam your combo and kill him and so that's that's kind of what our, our plan is to to supplement that we have some some cards like Sertra's Canta, which help you find two pieces of your combo, your Liliana and your Arcane Adaptation. And all, all the while you can use it to like mill over Chamber Century and so on. Uh, 
Chart, of course, just kind of helps you dig. You know, you can discard the, the Chamber Sentry and everything like that. Uh, Shimmer of Possibility. That's, that's honestly a pretty decent option as well instead of chart of course we'll, we'll kind of play it out we'll see if this if we'd rather have shimmer or possibility we have discovery same thing we get to surveil draw you know we get to to dig with the discovery as well uh thought erasure or well, i guess that doesn't help you dig so we have a few pieces to help you dig and then we just kind of filled in with just some really good demure interaction with thought erasure cast down brass's contempt and two very powerful uh rares in the, in the Demir colors with the Vasanti hostage takers. We just kind of have like some backup grind the opponent out. And then whenever like they're dealing with our Thieva Sanity hostage taker, like that kind of stuff, boom, we just combo them, combo them out. So, um, uh, that's what we kind of have here. So we'll, uh, we'll kind of see how it works out. I think it's going to be pretty good. And uh, there we go. Let's get to the games. Demir Zombie Mill. I'm excited to play this one. <laughs> You're welcome, Wagner. Glad that'll be stuck in your head for the next week. I'm sure that'll help you in, in life. So yeah, pretty excited to try this deck out. See how our first hand looks. Hmm. If only we had a blue mana, this hand could uh, start doing it. But also, of course, want to. There we go. We can keep this. Want to thank uh, Mike Villavicencio. Mike is a, a real good friend of mine from the Dallas area. He's the one that put this deck together for me to try out here on stream. So thanks, Mike. Yeah, let's see what let's see how it does. I do not, Sammy. I do not know. <laughs> if you get the if we get the combo off once, you'll be satisfied. I'm I think I think we'll be able to do it. I yeah. I I don't think people are gonna really be expecting it. For one. We have a reader, Diligent Excavator. Like yesterday, whenever, like Mike sent me the list yesterday, and you know, he was like, kind of telling me a little bit about it, or you know, saying how, you, how easy it is to go off at times, stuff like that. And I was like, Mike, you're gonna have to tell me how this works, because I, I don't even know what some of these cards are. Like, I don't even know what Diligent Excavator is, and I haven't read the card yet. You're just gonna have to tell me, because I don't feel like going and reading it. <laughs> All right, so we have a kind of a tough choice here, Thieva Sandy or Thought Erasure. I uh, certainly think our opponent will just kill Thieva Sandy if we play Thieva Sandy. So I, I'm feeling like Thought Erasure here against the most likely Demir Drake deck. And they had a shock. Hey, what's up, Jay Bowles? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for that sub. So, Shock does kill Thief. But I don't think I'm going to take Shock. I think I'm more scared of, like, Enigma Drake, Crackling Drake, right? Like, those cards are just a lot better. So I think I want to take one of the Drakes. And I guess Crackling Drake's better than Enigma Drake. Because, like, even if I take the Shock, like, this Thief's not getting through Enigma Drake, Crackling Drake, right? So let's just take the Crackling Drake. I do need a fourth land for Liliana. But I also need to find Arcane Adaptation, which is a problem. Let's just keep the fourth land for now. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, I have to find Arcane Adaptation before my opponent kills me. So 
So if my opponent's casting Shock this turn, they're not casting Chemist's Insight, so that's good for me. So I like pressuring. I like going with that kind of pressure there. Well, we don't, we're not going to mill our opponent until we kill them. We'll be milling ourselves, looking for Chamber Sentry before that. Like, if I play Liliana here and trigger the ex Excavator, I'm milling myself. But I guess, oh, Thief, thief mills them, though. I see what you're saying. Yeah, Thief mills them, though. <laughs> yeah, the, the mill plan just goes infinite, though, whenever we... Uh, whenever we do it. Good, we milled over two lands. I've conquered death. As I will conquer you. Don't get squeamish on me. <laughs> Make a mill deck with gates. And then name it Mill Gates. <laughs> I guess that, that could be a, a deck. So we got to find Arcane Adaptation and Chamber Sentry. <laughs> Our opponents are always so confused. Like, what is going on here? I don't even know what's going on here, to be honest. So are they going to attack Liliana or attack me? I'm definitely going to be sideboarding out Thief of Sandy in this matchup. You don't get your enchantment back from the graveyard. We just have to draw an arcane adaptation, which is a which is certainly a problem. I value moral flexibility. We have just drawn Two lands in a row after I kept that land on top. Probably did not need to keep that land on top. This is a really tough matchup. I don't know. I could certainly see us having more velocity to go through our deck. So what, we have like four discoveries and two charter courses? I kind of feel like that's low. Like... Maybe we shouldn't have like the thieves in the main deck and have shimmer of possibilities and cards like that. Some more velocity to get through to find our cards. We'll see though. I don't know. Mike just put this together last night, and he was, you know, his first four matches he went three one with the deck. So it's not, it's not like our deck's that bad. We just had a a five card hand here. Well, we had six plus Thief of Sandy that was a dead card. That is true. We could have Mastermind's Acquisitions in here. Oh, you won. Good for you. We don't. There's no Masterminds in the deck, but that could certainly be an addition. All right. Well, we drew a second combo piece. We just need to draw the other two now. I was. That was the thing that. That was the thing that Liliana was really doing for me, was digging for Chamber Sentry. But now we need to draw another Liliana. I was also, like, hoping that they were going to just ignore Liliana. To be honest. I was hoping they were just going to ignore Liliana. They didn't. 
<laughs> Our opponent is playing very slowly. That's all right. Yeah, I, I could have held off on casting Liliana. Certainly. If I did, we were going to be drawing land, land, excavator, hostage taker, discovery. There's going to be kind of some rough draws there before we got to an adaptation. Uh, in the meantime, we've drawn three lands. So it's not like we've drawn perfectly or anything like that. All right, Contempt works pretty good. Hey, what's up, Boo? Gutter snipe? Our opponent's deck is kind of weird. It's not a traditional Drake deck. Banefire, Electromancer, and Drake. Insight. It's a little weird. I like that they're drawing a lot of lands, too. They have eight lands. Hopefully they have another one or two in their hand. Maybe all three are lands. Hmm. That doesn't look like a land. All right. We need to go two for two here, deck. Come on. Arcane Adaptation. Okay. There's the Adaptation. So now if we just draw Liliana, we got this. We just have to draw Liliana before our opponent casts two spells. Well, that's unfortunate. I hope they have it. Dang. We were one one card away there. Alright, so Thief is out of here. Contempt is in. Cast downs are in. Do I want to play Hostage Shakers or do I want to play Counter Magic? That's what I'm debating on here. I think Counter Magic. I think we should probably play the league and see how it does before we start saying all the cards that this deck needs. I think people are jumping to very early conclusions after one game. A lot of people in chat here saying this deck needs this card. This deck needs this card. Oh, let's see the let's see the league first. Alright, so definitely like our hand with having the Adaptation and the Liliana in it. Um, I could see just, I could see playing Discovery here. Yeah, discussing things is good. Just all the use of the word need, I don't, I don't like. 
It's a strong word. Even Wind Mage? Alright, we got all four of our cards. We just need two more lands now. Oh, I could just put that in the graveyard. I don't need to keep that on top. Right, I, I should have just surveilled that to the graveyard. So we would have drawn Thought Erasure if I would have put that in the graveyard. The problem with putting Adaptation in the graveyard is if it gets if this one gets countered, that's kind of bad for us. I'm still going to do it, though. Yeah, that was my bad. I, I should have just put the Sentry in the graveyard. That was my bad. This, yeah, this Hourglass uh, represents a, a timer where if you spend three turns uh, not taking very long on your turn, basically, not having, like, a timer pop up, then you get you get an hourglass which allows you to take more time on a on a future turn whoops okay so i can play like excavator next turn and have negate backup and then untap and liliana and go No, you don't have to do anything. The, hour, the the hourglass automatically works. So basically, now if I if I run out of time in in a future turn, like this turn or another turn, then then it'll automatically be an extra time. It's like basically this is like bonus time. We have one bonus time available to us right now. I would not play Disinformation Campaign in this deck at all. I think I'm going to wait. We're not really under any pressure of having to play Liliana this turn. But they could have a counter spell for Liliana. Which would be trouble for us. So I'm just going to wait. So they have one card we don't know about. So if we draw land, that's what I want to draw. We can have we can combo off with negate backup. Yeah, we could have killed them this last turn if they didn't have a counter spell. We're hopefully we draw a land and we get to try to kill them with counter spell backup. Perfect. All right, here we go. All right, how long is this gonna keep going on until my opponent concedes? What do you think? What is more precious than life? Witness my power. <laughs> zero. Confirm zero. Yes. Target player. All right, that's two. They're at 44. Oh man, this is going to be a lot of clicking. Confirm zero. Oh, this is great. All right, they're at 42. Let's try this again. Oh, it's so much clicking. They're at 40. All right, 20 more times. Here we go. 20 more. One, two, three, four. Okay, it requires four clicks, right? Or I guess we have to click this too. So one... You have to do a drag, a drag plus one, two, three, four, a drag plus four clicks. All right, they're at 36. Do you think this is what our opponent was expecting when they signed up for a nice quality match of magic this afternoon?
All right, they're down to 28. At least we get to see their entire deck. <laughs> the old turn six kill. Our opponent never saw it coming. Yeah, we do have to be a little concerned about how big their Enigma Drake is becoming. That's true. It's a 13 4. I feel like I'm going to misclick on one of these. Or should I try to use spacebar on something? So like spacebar? Nope. Spacebar? Nope. I don't think spacebar works. You're playing this in FNM? Do it. This is an FNM special right here. It's a little easier to do at FNM. Alright, they are at 12. We haven't seen any counter spells, have we? Have y'all seen any counter spells yet? I want to keep on trying to do this as fast as possible, so I'm not clicking on their graveyard. But y'all have deck master, so you can click on the graveyard. Any counter spells? They had an ionize. How many? One ionize? Three ionize? Ugh, so many ionize. Yeah, I guess Blink of an Eye is a counter spell. Alright, they're down to two. How many Blink of an Eyes? One, two, two Blink of an Eye. Uh, I don't know. I feel like we've taken enough time. Enough time. Let's let's let our opponent go ahead and go. Opponent's turn. Oh, huh. That was weird. They just kind of blew up. So maybe I need another negate and sabotage. All right, if we're bringing those in, what are the other two cards I'm cutting? I like the removal. Maybe I just, that's just too much counter magic, maybe? Duress is kind of a counter spell. That's true. I guess Duress... Duress does the same thing I want Sabotage to do, but a lot cheaper. Yeah, I can certainly see my opponent having more counter magic. Hmm. I don't even know what two cards I want to take out. Just play three to rest then. Let's have Thought Erasure as well. Let's go one to rest, two negate. All right, we did it. We comboed off one time already. First match. We still have the rest of the league to go. Let's see if we can combo off some more. This looks like a mulligan to me. Hmm. 
think we're keeping this because our hand is good. Obviously, we need another land, but we're on the draw with a scry. So we get three looks at a. Like, we got three cards to look at before we see it. Before we draw our second card. Sorry, Excavator. I'll have to find another one of you. But with having Charter Course and Search for Escanta, Autorate. Like, this hand's great if we just find another land. This would be a real bummer if we don't draw another land. Hey, After Wizard, it's going well. We got some janky decks today, including Demir Zombie Mill, our first one on the docket. There we go. All right, let's start with Thought Erasure. They have Negate. I don't want them to negate my Ascanta. So they have Ionize, which I think I'm taking. Yeah. So they play Enigma Drake, I kill it. They play Avon Wind Mage, I kill it again. And we go from there with them having nothing and us still having some stuff. Bummer if they have like Crackling Drake right here. Alright, very good, very good. Hmm. Hmm. These are all good. I'm keeping Liliana in adaptation, so it's between Ascanta, Discovery, and Thought Erasure. Thought Erasure is a, a good card here, though. Oh, I'm getting rid of it. I only have three more of the creature, uh, whatever it's called, Diligent Excavator. I have three more of those in the deck. So I want to keep this discovery to help find it. Same with, like we have, you know, we have three more thought erasures and we have duress and we have negates. We have other interaction we can draw into. All right, so I can go to the graveyard. I kind of want to keep another arcane adaptation in case this gets countered. I guess I, I could have just cast the adaptation first to see if it gets countered. All right, so all we have to do is find the 1-3. The We have eight cards in the graveyard. We got all the adaptations. So an option here is just to, to, was just to play Liliana and start taking up. Because remember, we can just put the creature in our graveyard. Because we can cast the, that creature from, from our graveyard also. Yeah, exactly. So we can, we can just go Liliana, tick up, and start milling. Right, so they, they don't have any interaction. 
They just have the Entrancing Melody, which doesn't help them. Alright, there's an Excavator. So we have two Excavators at the bottom now. As canted while you're that's annoying. While we do know that we have the Well, you're correct that we you know, the problem with Ascant is we are putting like excavator at the bottom. We do know at least we know the order, we know exactly where this excavator is, and we we're like digging five cards for that one, for example. But now they have less pressure. I'm gonna be playing Liliana this next turn. A little annoying. I call, and the dead answer. <laughs> I have a deliciously morbid idea. Yeah, that's so that was a little unfortunate and unfortunate that, you know, we could have made it a 2-2, two -two, which was kind of my plan. But, so, you know, like they, they of course, have the Entrancing Melody, so it being a 1-1, one -one, I don't really mind that much anyway. I kind of like that it's a 1-1 one -one because of Entrancing Melody. We just need to find another excavator. Hmm. How does that help them? So I can, I can just kill the gutter snipe and have two blockers, where they have to draw a burn spell. It's the safest play I have is to minus three this Liliana, play two chamber sentries as one ones, play new Liliana, minus two and kill the gutter snipe. That's the safest play I have. We kind of. We still have one other Liliana. Ah, I feel like my old self again. can kneel if you like. Only I am free of death. We could have played one two two. 
Correct. I liked playing two one ones. So that like if they had another entrancing melody, I wasn't just dead. One person's trash is another woman's army. I'm going to keep this negate available. All right, so we're, we're digging. Ugh. So we have three, six, seven cards at the bottom. So we know, we know at the very worst our third excavator is the 19th card down. Into the grave with you. There's two other excavators somewhere in those. Let's see if we find it here. The problem with, hmm. The thing also costs two, I can't dispersal that. There's another excavator in here somewhere. There's there's two more in these three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and these eleven cards. We'll find it. If I activate Escanta, doesn't really help us. There we go. Found it. So as long as they don't have two instants or sorceries in their hand right now. Open the graves. All right, zero. Here we go. Confirm zero. Target player, you. <laughs> and there we go. We did it. Woo. Demir Zombie Mill, one and O. Oh. And we did it. GG's. <laughs> Deck Bible, easy tier one. Agree. Easy tier one. <laughs> Your day's complete. There you go. Hey, what's up, Perger? Hey, what's up, Tunails? Doing good. We just had our Demir zombie mill deck do its thing. All right, like in this hand, we got two pieces. As Kanta can find. Arcane Adaptation. Time to retire the deck, undefeated. You know, if, if we milled a Chemisters for them, they didn't have enough mana to spend two, to, do, to cast two Chemisters, did they? Did they have eight mana for two Chemisters? Because that could have been a problem. All 
All right, so Rakdos aggro. If I play Excavator here, it probably dies. Hmm. Attack with one Firebrand, but not the other. Interesting. Ow. Why so aggressive? Due to the Scourge Diva's trouble, they're killing us real fast here. Flame of Keld? Rut row. Next turn we could dispersal the flame of Keld, I suppose, if you know, depending on what they play here. Hopefully they draw a lot more lands. I think the first War of the Spark previews will be coming out during the Mythic Invitational this weekend. Hopefully that other card's like another land. Ugh. That's the worst possible thing. That was the actual worst possible thing. <laughs> that was a horrible card for us to see. Uh. So if every single card in their hand is a complete blank, we could untap. But it's not possible to untap and win, is it? I guess if I play Liliana and tick up it is. And they don't attack Liliana. It's not. Le or wait. So it's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Because it does not. It does not increase the gutter bones. It only does red things. So if all their stuff is a complete blank, and we mill over a chamber sentry here. Immortality is. Well, they aren't useful to me alive. Well, we need a chamber sentry there, or we need to draw a chamber sentry now. There's like a 99% chance we're dead. Okay, well that kills us. <clears throat> um, Madman, I don't, I don't know what you're referencing at all. All right, let's get Cry the Carnarium, another cast down, another contempt, and get these ritual of sets in here. Let's take Thief out. And hmm. Could take out Thought Erasure. I think I kinda like Hostage Taker. You know, like they're gonna empty their hand pretty quickly. You could see Thought Erasure not really doing very much for us. do that. I'm going to trim some Thought Erasures.
This isn't my favorite hand, but we have good mana. We got Discovery. Help us find Cry or Ritual of Soot. Hostage Shaker is good. And we have a combo piece. Opponents on five cards. Cut the Liliana in Adaptation. Well, we can't really win if we do that. So, don't think that's the plan. Alright, this... This is good. I'll take it. So, where's this Chamber Sentry? Zombie, zombie. Hey, speaking of zombies, there's a zombie. Um, hmm. Give me your zombie. See? It's a zombie knight. Zombie knight. More zombie knights. So I'm definitely keeping the fifth land and casting Midnight Reaper. Do I want to keep as Kanta? Like, what's my next turn going to look like if I'm keeping as Kanta? No. It is. Is it a zombie zombie night? Oh, it just says zombie night. Human pirate zombie. I want to be zombie night zombie. Uh, I guess. It's a good question. Question is, if we play multiple arcane adaptations and we choose different creature types, would all of our creatures assume both types? I would, I would think so, because it just adds, like, it just adds, as you can tell there on the left of Hostage Taker, it says added type zombie, like right, you know, in front of the Midnight Reaper and Gutter Bones there. So it just adds it. It doesn't replace anything. So I think it would just keep on adding creature types. So should we make them like brush wags? Brush wag is a creature type, not in standard, not on arena. Maybe they don't have it on arena. I want to add them. I want to make them brush wags. Judith and Garna. Interesting. What did I do my trigger first? Because it's my opponent's turn. So their trigger goes on the stack first. Because they're the active player, and so then my trigger goes on the stack second, and so then therefore mine would resolve first. Uh, that's how that works. Alright, we gotta find a chamber sentry. I 
I could minus two the Liliana and, and kill the Judith. Like I could play Excavator, play Liliana, and then kill Judith. And the problem is, you know, like Liliana's really close to dying. Let's see if we mill our. Let's see if we. Let's see if we hit Chamber Sentry. Let's see if we just kill him. Hit Chamber Sentry? Ah, uh, we didn't. We hit a Liliana though. The etchings prove my immortality. So I can either just kill the Judith and have Judith trigger once, or I can tick up. I feel like I'm supposed to kill the Judith, right? So sorry to give you a fright. Starting to believe that not keeping that Ascanta was a mistake. That was a cheap shot. All right, I'm hoping they can't kill my Liliana from here. Tick up could put the yes. Ticking up is like the best of finding Century, but I don't know. They get to like if I don't do it, they get to like attack with Gutter Bones, ping me with Judith after I block. I have to like kill all my things to block. Still like ping me. Trigger spectacle, get their gutter bones back, replay their gutter bones kind of thing. It's like a huge mess of like what their turns are gonna look like with the Judith. And I feel like this just buys us a lot more a lot more turns. <laughs> Wait till you see what I've got planned for you. Hmm. Alright, can I do brushwag? Yeah, brush wag. Brush wag. Nice. There, human artificer zombie brush wag. That's what I'm talking about. That's a human pirate zombie brush wag. All right, where's our chamber sentry? Hopefully they don't have another one of those. Of course, they can just ping me and go re Reveler. For some of you whippersnappers that don't know what a brushwag is, This card right here. Look at him. It's just a big, big brush wag rolling down the hill. That's a brush wag. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Zerf? It's going great. We've, we're 1 0 with our zombie. Mill deck, and now all my creatures are brush wags, also. Into the grave with you. All right, still no chamber sentries. We got a bunch of zombie brush wags now. This is historic. I like how it says added types zombie brush wag and then underneath that it says historic. I agree. Magic Arita, this is this is historic. So this will kill this hostage taker. We'll get rid of both those gutter bones.
We did it! We did it! Rise! Alright, zombie brushwag. For zero. Mill two. Alright, they're down to 36. Time to go. It's down to 34. All right, we're going to game number three. All right, 32. So far, la last game our opponent made us click through all these. <laughs> Time to click. Get to clicking. They're down to 28. Only 14, 14 more times. And that's it. Opponent picks it up. Can't handle it. Too much clicking. All right, we're going to game three against Rakdos Aggro. It's going to be tough winning a game on the draw against the Aggro deck here. Um, don't know what else I want. <laughs> yeah, paper magic, we would just be able to, like, you know, use our words and tell our opponent what's going on and, you know, just mill them infinitely. But obviously our opponent saw what was up. So there we go. Let's see if we can get this game number three. This would be pretty clutch if we can, give, can beat the aggro deck with our zombie mill deck. Alright, these are cards, I suppose. I do like having Charter Course and Discovery. I don't really like our removal situation. Opponent's going down to six, though. Because, you know, Charter Course is just draw two, because we just discard the sentry. We can also just keep sentry and just make it a two man to two two, though. Alright, opponent's down to five. <laughs> the combo wouldn't have worked without Brushwag. True. Brushwag. Yeah, chart plus the sentry is nice. But this kind of matchup, we may just need to cast. Hmm. So, I, I guess I'm supposed to chart a course first. Because then that gives us more information of what we would need to discovery. And keep and or not keep. Like, we don't need double at arcane adaptation against our opponent. Our opponent red black deck is just not going to be killing our arcane adaptation. So we'll just discard one of those. Because, like, Discovery is a card that you make choice choices with. At least more choices than you do with Charter Course. So, Gutter Bones and Spawn. And so, having more information, like, what happens with our Charter Course, uh, kind of gives it, just gives us more information for the Discovery. Also, waiting on Discovery is nice, because you can see if, if you're not drawing Ritual of Soots, and stuff like that if you need something like that, like whatever kind of removal. Like maybe you discover and you see, you know, like, 
you know, like Ritual of Soot, and you're like, oh, I should probably keep this, but then maybe you keep it, and then your next two cards are like more Ritual of Soots, and your opponent plays a Spawn of Mayhem, and you're like, why did I keep that first Ritual of Soot? I didn't even need that now. It's like, waiting until later is nice, as long as you have other things to be doing. Uh, it doesn't look like we need a cast down right now. Construct, Demon, Skeletor, or Skeleton, or Warrior? Come on. We know we're going with the Bay. Always choosing the Bay first. Alright, Liliana. Keep that one. We have five cards over there right now. If I ditch the Ritual... Then now we're at seven where the Ascanta is going to flip either way. <laughs> Skeletor. <laughs> Whoops. Garna. So basically, Ascanta cannot find Our excavator, but it can find things that help us find excavator. Mm hmm. Might as well play this thing for two. Dang it! Auto tap. Uh, forgot I need to manually tap that. See, so, yeah, I wanted to play it to make it a two-two at least. Stupid auto tab. That's supposed to be a 2 2. Certainly see my opponent holding up instant speed removal like such as lightning strike. Hmm. I'm not just feared, I'm respected. Well, they aren't useful to me alive. We can sacrifice Sentry. It has an ability, like, we can remove a 1-1 counter from it to deal one down. We don't need to, to just jump block with it yet. We can kill it anytime we want. Alright, Excavator in the graveyard. Combo is oh, assembled. Dull. It's just really if our opponent's going to be able to interact with it. We'll see if they tap out or not. You got it, Hats. Grixis Brews? Yeah, absolutely. I have a Grixis Discard deck I, I like a ton. Um, you can find the list here in the decks in my on my Stream Decker page. Contempt for contempt for sentry does nothing. Again, we can sacrifice our sentry. All they need is an instant speed spell to kill the excavator while we're doing stuff. That's all they need. They just need a lightning strike. Anything that kills excavator. Which is it's very easy for them to have, as we saw, just saw them use that bedevil there. So it's... Pretty unlikely that we can win right now. Because it's likely they have some kind of removal spell. No.
No. That's it. Demir Zombie Mill is going to be... Oh, you have to pay one? It's a ripoff. Oh, well. We are going to be the good old 2 and O. Oh. Her death. And here we go. Combo achieved. Two no. We beat the the black red aggro deck. All we need them to do was mold to five games two and three. I don't know if that's all we need them to do. It sure, it certainly helped though. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. We are Tuno. Demir Zombie Mill still has the five win dream alive. <laughs> oh, this is so. This deck is great. This is some jank right here. Ugh. Man, we're starting the stream off with this. It's, it's probably just going to be downhill from here. <laughs> All right, we got basically everything we want. All we got to do is find that chamber sentry. Just got to put that in the graveyard. Deck so good. Playing against Sultai, huh? So Jade Light, Jade Light, Crisis, Find, Contempt. I'm just gonna take this Contempt here. We'll get rid of that Thief of Sanity that it don't care about. All we need to do is find a. All we need to do is find a Chamber Sentry. I'm just going to get the adaptation in play. Just use my mana kind of well here. So where's this chamber sentry? Ugh, so much mana. this deck do against a, a Nexus deck? You just try to race them. And you would sideboard. I've lost so much old no one knows the wilds like I do. Hmm. This is a problem. We could go for the win. We mill over two cards. And if one of the... Basically, we could play Liliana, and if one of the top two cards is Chamber Century, we win. But if it's not, you know, we're, we're in trouble. But otherwise, I could, like, Contempt the Vivian to get that out of here. But then they hostage take my Diligent Excavator. And recast that, and that's a problem. I don't know. Do we even think they'll 
hostage take, they'll probably just play Krasis, right? Ha. I've seen worse. I'm thinking they're going to Krasis. Tilt. That's terrible. Ooh. All right, all right. So that's why I took the, the diligent excavator, because even if they kill my... Even if they kill the, the hostage taker, we get the excavator back. If I try taking something else, if I try taking either of their creatures and they kill my hostage taker, they get their they just get their creature back. Alright, where's the sentry? Chamber sentry. So Liliana's taking four. I guess no, because I have cast down, I'll only take two. I do what you don't get squeamish on me. We've not found a sentry yet. Pretty of annoying for another another find finality. Turn. Can we draw sentry? Come on, sentry! Dang it. Rise! And then do I want Thief or another Excavator? We just have to take the Krasis, obviously. Wild wasn't meant to be con <laughs> Get that out of here. All right. We got another draw step. Come on, Century. Got a few more draw steps. Oh, no, no, but I don't I can't Lily on a minus 3 again. Tilt. <laughs> Wait till you see what I've got planned for you. 1 2 3 4. They just have finality. Oh, that's fine. We can find out. Yeah, that's fine. We still have not seen a chamber sentry yet? Come on. I went with four so that I could Balance. play Charter Course, you know, like we draw a land, we could still play the Charter Course last turn.
if they finality, we can just recast the excavator, you know, recast the excavator from the graveyard with Liliana's minus. We just have to find a, a sentry. All right, they're tapping out again. We have one, two, three, four, four looks at a century. <laughs> We've already seen 29 cards. we got four more looks. I guess that's two more looks, so I guess I keep this on top. And I guess we do transform this. Gosh. Where the hell is a century? Finally. Finally. The reason to transform was because we had the mana to be able to activate it and grab like another chart of course or discovery. Whew. Okay, we're one to know. Witness my power. It only took us getting down to, you know, 35 cards, but we got there. Took down Sultai game one. Oh yeah, I guess we could we could cast more excavators to speed up the clicks. Yeah, my the frames really It is not it is not like when we get to that that late in the game. Yeah, that combo breaks the internet basically. So Hasta Shaker was awesome. My opponent conceded basically right away during the combo. They you know, I did it like twice and then they conceded. And so Hasta Shaker was clutch for us. Hmm. This is going to be tough to combo post sideboard whenever they get to in their deck however they want. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard to have Duress and Negate for Vivian. It's honestly hard to have that, you know, like they don't have a lot of Vivians in their deck. I kind of have to be worried about their creatures and not dying. Finality, not really worried about. It's hard to, like, I want to play Duress and Negate in the matchup, but it's hard to fit it in. Unless I'm taking, like, I'd have to, like, take out combo pieces or something. I don't know. It's it's really hard to fit it in, honestly. Finality, I'm not really worried about at all. Because we can replay our creatures from the graveyard the turn we go off. We just have to have Adaptations and Liliana in play and then our other creatures in the graveyard. 
But this is what I'm talking about is like their their creatures are what we need to be worried about. Kind of thing. So I definitely like bringing in Ritual of Set in this matchup. And I'm going to be cast downing the Llanowar Elf here. Maybe not. Never mind. I thought I was going to be cast downing the Llanowar Elf. But I'd rather just Thought Erasure for a Vivian. There's Vivian. Which deck am I having the most fun playing in standard right now? I like the Grixis dis discard deck, and I like just a lot of the blue-green decks. We've been having uh, some fun with different blue-green decks. quasi Dupla Ooze is one. We played that deck yesterday. That one's just a ton of fun. We're playing a Simic Adapt one later on. It's going to be difficult to combo off here. Our opponent's got, you know, a lot of interaction. Killing the Jaylight Ranger because... Obviously, we're taking four a turn. It's tough to take four a turn all the time. Cast down in hand being instant speed removal is going to be tough for us. We need four more mana. This will certainly buy us a good amount of time here. To slow our opponent way down. So buy Liliana some time. Just clutch. Like if they just draw a land here, I like where we're where we're at. Okay, well. Never mind about that. So I can go for it again. Chamber Sentry has to be one of the top two cards. But we could kill them if it's, you know, we have three Chamber Sentries in the deck. There's 44. If it's not one of the top two cards, we are basically d completely dead. If, if, I, if I waste all of our resources here, we're just dead. Can I wait and win? Probably not. I probably can't wait and win. So I guess this is about as good as it's going to get. Yeah, I think I think this is as good as it's gonna get. All right, we need we need one of the top two cards to be Chamber Sentry. We did it! Woo! Three and zero. Oh. Let's have some fun. Open the graves. They tapped out, and they're dead. No, I couldn't really wait a turn because they just get to untap and have their mana available for cast down. 
So I have to do this right now while they're tapped out. Boom! Dude, this deck is nice. This deck is nice. We just had an arcane adaptation in play. And four mana. When they when they passed the turn to us, we just had like we just had two cards in hand, four mana in play, and a search for us canton and arcane adaptation. We flip search for a fifth mana, draw sixth land, which is so that's crucial. So we actually have sixth land plus our, our two mana spell, plus our four mana spell. Like we had to hit so well to win that. <laughs> we had to we had to draw that sixth land. Uh in the first place and then we needed one of our top two cards after that to be chamber century because we got to mill two and we did yeah we played to our outs that was our out and opponent learns that they really did not need a seven seven crisis it could have gone for like a, a five five kept kept a couple man open kept that cast down available You can't you can't tap out against the Demir Zombie Mill deck. Everybody knows that. You can't tap out. It's, we're, this is just Splinter Twin and Standard. Splinter Twin all over again. Opponent taps out, you kill him. It's just you have to have the the Splinter Twin combo in hand like we did. Plus, you also need to get lucky and mill over a card in one of your top two. I don't think we mulligan. Just four lands discovery, you know, we got we got our mana. Alright, stomping ground. It's usually good for cast down. Alright, let's look for combo combo pieces. Those are neither, but they are spells that dig pretty well, so let's go and keep them both. Simic Adapta is on the deck list page. It's not from today, though, Logistics Man. It's from a previous day. Team of Reclamation. Hmm. That's a lot of lands. Are we going to need a 7th land right now? Probably not. It's either ditching a cast down or a land. I guess I'm just going to discard a land. I can ditch the excavator, honestly. Because we can just recast it with Liliana. We just have to find Liliana in Arcane Adaptation. They should probably be waiting until after my opt so they can see more, more stuff in our deck. You know, like we just put this weird, diligent excavator in our graveyard. We're getting there. We're getting there. Man, it's crazy. We have three other decks to play today. I feel like this is like the, the finale deck or something for a day. Yeah, yeah, doing great tonight. We're crushing it right now with Demir Zombie Mill.
So we are doing it just fine. Opponent used that blink of an eye and, and drew the wilderness reclamation off the blink of an eye that we got to take. That was really convenient for us. Oh, I should just play the Liliana and start milling. bad card for us to see. So the problem, of course, is our opponent does have Shivan Fires that can kill my uh, Diligent Excavator. Well, that was a really good draw for them, that end sight, but you know, kind of makes sense. They've drawn bad cards for so long. Yeah, I was liking where we were at before that chemist was in sight. Immortality is worth and <laughs> I have a deliciously morbid idea. Another insight? Okay, good. Not another insight. They could certainly explosion this Liliana for a bunch. Or they just could play Niv Mizzet. Correct. You can play any creature from your graveyard with Liliana. And so. We use that with Chamber Sentry to be able to play Chamber Sentry over and over again for zero and mill our opponent out. So we kept five lands and two casts down in this hand. <laughs> it's not worked out too well. One person's trash is another woman's army. We still have still have not found a chamber sentry again. I wonder if we shouldn't have cut cut one and gone to three. We've been struggling finding those so far. I mean, even if I contempt to this Niv Mizzet, I'm just like pretty dead, aren't I? Tried to stop on upkeep, but I was a little too slow. Enough. Uh, 
All right, so negate, sabotage, duress. All that stuff to bring in. We'll bring in thief as well. Cut those cast downs. I kind of want to cut contempt, even though that means we, like, can't deal with Niv-Mizzet. I feel like once Niv-Mizzet, once they find Niv-Mizzet, we're just dead anyway. So it's kind of like, what's the point? So this would be 63. Do I really need Thief? Maybe I don't need Thief. I feel like Thief's pretty good, though. They're certainly going to have their stupid Shivan Fires, though. Hmm. I mean, unless I start cutting combo, Thief's the only thing else to go. I guess I could get rid of Ascanta. That doesn't quite seem right. With all these duresses and negates and everything. But it's just like Charter Course Discovery, combo pieces, or Thief. I don't really want to cut anything. Yeah, they're definitely going to have the answers to Thief. I don't know. I'm going to cut. I'll cut one as Kanta and two Thief. It's a tough call. You know, I could just kind of get rid of one at one arcane adaptation, one um, one Liliana, you know, one of the one threes. You know, I could just kind of go down on one piece of each one one of each of the combo pieces. All right, so they got four lands expansion, and I firing off the. Duress on turn one, of course, because I want to have Negate here on turn two for, like, Azkanta or something, and then we'll go with the Thief on turn three. So good news is we have Thief on turn three. Bad news is if our opponent does find... They did find Shivan Fire here. Let's say I'm pretty dead because I have just all lands. So they should have, if they had less removal, they should have more removal now. So I'm going to trim the second Thief for the second Ascanta. We're just going to be trying to combo them out. Okay, this is a nerve-wracking game here. One, we're 3-0. We're 1-1. One Tough matchup. What just happened? Our opponent molded the five. We took their spell with a duress, played a Thief of Sanity, and they just picked up their cards before we started hitting them with Thief of Sanity. Diligent Excavator, are you up for the job? Whoops. I meant to go attack for one. Oh well.
Definitely keeping negate. I want to keep thief. Okay, Rex. Take care. Alright, no Niv Mizzet. Ha! I got double crushing canopy. Wait, that kills arcane adaptation. That's not good for us. So if I leave that with explosion, they can use their explosion to copy the negate. Now I feel really dumb for keeping that water grave. That water grave is not looking not good for us. Feared. I value moral flexibility. Milled over our other two negates. We still have to draw. I don't. This is going to be really tough for us to win, honestly, from here. That drawing land seven and land eight was really, really bad for us. We have to find arcane adaptation. Oh, we're, we're pretty dead here. We have to resolve Arcane Adaptation, have it not get Crushing Canopied. I, keeping that land on top now, the, the next three cards were all lands. We're just, good. we're just dead. Don't get squeamish on me. So those are three cards I didn't want. So I don't, I don't know how I'm going to get Arcane Adaptation in play, resolve it, have it not die to either of these Crushing Canopies. And we don't even have Chamber Sentry yet. I liked keeping that land on top because I wanted to be able to have Liliana with Negate, you know, so I wanted like that six mana. Value moral uh, flexibility. Those are three cards I need. No, I need all those. So now we're completely out of counter spells. All right, good. There goes one canopy. So if we find a duress, which we only have two other duresses now. All right, both canopies gone. That's a good sign. Still haven't found a chamber sentry yet. Yeah, we didn't combo the opponent before. If we draw a chamber sentry, we could combo them. Ugh, not anymore. Okay.
Actually, if we just had Chamber Sentry, I'd actually like our chances a whole lot here. Yeah. Wow. If we would have just found one of the three Chamber Sentries in the first 33 cards. The problem is I, we don't have this. I can't mill with Liliana and also minus three Liliana. We just don't have the Chamber Sentry. We don't have the fourth part of our combo. We have the rest of our combo, but not the fourth part. Thought Erasure is not going to resolve, though. This is going to get countered. Don't get cocky. So, like, that's the thing. Is like that eats the counter spell. Oh wow, it doesn't get countered. Then we we have a we have a prayer now. If this does mill over, if it is Chamber Sentry on, on top. If our 34th card is our first chamber century. How dare you. Oh wait, I guess they could still have negate tilt. Don't get cocky. That was a cheap shot. Yeah, still have negate. One person's trash is another woman's army. Dang. Just again, we couldn't find one chamber century. We just have to mill one over, and we couldn't do it. We had 33 looks at one chamber century that game. And there's three in the deck, and we couldn't find one. That's a tilt. Could have killed us with that explosion. They could have dealt 15. They're dealing 9 though. See, we're at 6. They have 6 more mana. Oh, never mind. It triggers all those things. Never mind. We're still dead. Hey, what's up, Mike? Yeah, we just 3 1 now. We couldn't find a chamber century. We've been. So, Mike, yeah, we. As you were saying how we took out the fourth chamber century for that second Ascanta, we have been having such a huge problem finding chamber century. It's just been some bad variants. That game, that match, we would have won that match if we would have had one chamber century in our top 33. It goes really good, Nate. Welcome to the channel. But we're still 3 and 1. Five win dreams, not dead yet. Uh, this is the Airborne Toxic event changing, as far as the song goes. We have had, I think every single game that we've played, not even match every game, there's been somebody in the chat that has said Final Parting would be good in the deck. You're welcome, Born. Yeah, we've had some couple... A couple other games too where we couldn't couldn't find Chamber Century forever either. I know I, th I thought it'd be easier to find two because we only need one of one and we can have it in our graveyard and everything like that. It's been some unfortunate variants. The time that I've seen for the update is 5 a.m. Pacific time, 8 a.m. Eastern time. Now it's unclear. I don't, I don't really know what that means. I don't know if that means 
the update is like that's when they're starting an update and it'll be like a downtime. I don't But that's the time that I've seen. Uh, <clears throat> we're, I'm going to be spending a lot of gems tomorrow on cosmetic stuff. And so we're doing a 12-hour stream tomorrow. We're doing it for getting to the 2,000 YouTube subs. If you're newer here, if you want to check out all the replays, go up on the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash ToddStevensMTG. You can find all the replays there. Uh, so we're doing that from noon to midnight tomorrow. A little annoying that my opponent had Trickster there. I was hoping that they'd just waste that mana. Stormfleet, Stormfleet Aerialist. That's not a card you see too often. No, like I said, I know the Eastern time they said they said the Eastern time was 8 a.m. I'm not planning on streaming until noon. I'm I'm assuming that by noon it'll be over. That's All right, so dive down or spell pierce gets this. Hopefully they have neither. Very good. So we need an arcane adaptation and a chamber sentry. They are very creature heavy. Okay, it's expected to last two hours. That's what I hadn't heard. I hadn't heard anything about that. Any time expectations. Alright, so no adaptation yet. Why is that King Toll? I call and oh. the dead answer. Sorry to hear that. I actually Into enjoy playing against Mono Red. That's there's one adaptation down. We just milled over an adaptation. Oh yeah, I I believe you yet. I just hadn't I hadn't heard that or read that. So we just need to get lucky and draw an arcane adaptation and soon is this battlefield is a bunch of creatures that are trying to kill us. That buys us another time, another turn. That was interesting. Okay. Now. Liliana again? I obviously I cannot have Adaptation countered. Okay, so that's that's the big consideration here. If, if jamming it right now is the best of like not having it countered, you know, not giving them another draw step towards the counter, or what? All right, there we go. That, that's fine. We did not find the chamber sentry still though. So I, I would like to draw seventh land and mill over Chamber Century. OK, 
Okay, that is drawing seventh land. Which is just so... It's so risky. Slamming Liliana right here. Because if we don't hit Chamber Sentry, they attack Liliana and kill Liliana. Sentry. Ugh, you just never hit one. I do what me. <laughs> Wait till you see what I've got planned just, for there's you. There's never any sentries anywhere. So many games that we've gone through half of our deck and never found a sentry. So many games. Dang. And they're killing the Liliana. It's bad for us. I'm done. We were not dead next turn. Because we were, they were only at five power. Oh, I guess could they adapt to this thing? No, they couldn't adapt to that thing. So we need to just draw the fourth Liliana. So we need to top deck the fourth Liliana and mill over chamber sentry. It's not easy. Nope. That's like the third game maybe the fourth now, that we've lost simply because we haven't had a, a century. It's crazy how just changing it from, from four to three has been. You know, that's, that's where we put the second as Kanta in, was taking out the fourth one, but we just can't find this thing. It's crazy. So let's get some more removal in. It's kind of a weird matchup. Every single card that we have in our deck, or at least in our sideboard, is good in this matchup. <laughs> well, not with Narcomiba ever. We need to put more velocity into the deck, which is which means we need more cards that help us dig. Narcomoeba is just a dead card to ever draw. You don't want to fill your combo deck with Narcomoebas. You don't want to do that. It's going to be tough. As Kanta digs pretty well and helps you find Adaptation in Liliana. Or at the very least, you know, you can find more Charter Courses and Discoveries with it. Ah, uh, yes, we need to bring in Cinder Vines. Should have just played Sentry on two. I should have just played Sentry on two last turn. And I should just be shocking in here first. Alright, I have not played this game very well.
This is gonna auto tap mess me up. <clears throat> the problem with taking the Sinister Sabotage is, you know, like they throw down their Curious Obsessions, then I have to use like my cast downs on those creatures, and then they play a Tempest Gen that, that kills me. I think kind of making it difficult for them to, to play all the things in their hand by leaving them with the two cards that cost three mana is the way to go and or the way that I'm going. All right, well, this is risky, but I could really use a land. This gets countered. It's really bad for us. All right, there's a land. I don't really need the second land. I don't need the fifth land. I do need the fourth land, though. Hey, what's up, Sothian? Now they have dive down. Oh, they have spell pierce. Okay. So they got two instants for old Terry. Would a Seeker Squire fit to help explore, but also have a creature in the deck? Probably not. I don't think that's something you necessarily need. I think just more cards like Charter Course kind of thing, or uh, Shimmer Possibilities, things that, that dig farther. Things that dig far in your library reliably. Like that eating a retort. So we need adaptation still. Never mind. I guess we're dead. That fifth land. It's, little... it's kind of bad. Yep. Dang. Looks like this is going to be a 3 2. Don't think we can do anything here, unfortunately. Now we need arc we need arcane adaptation in play. We don't have arcane adaptation in play. <laughs> awesome, Gomez. Yeah, glad you liked that one. That was a good YouTube video. The quasi deep lose. Ah, oh, the next two cards are both adaptations. No. I've conquered death, as I will conquer you. <laughs> I have a deliciously morbid idea. Yeah, 3 2 for a rough draft of a deck you just put together yesterday, Mike. Not bad.
Not too bad at all. So 1,500 gold, 20 gems. That's a successful run for sure. With our Demir Zombie Mill deck. So moving forward, I didn't like Thief of Sanity in the main deck at all. I wouldn't they can get rid of those. Every single game we played, somebody was saying get final parting in the deck. Big problem for final parting is twofold. One, it costs five mana, which is a ridiculous amount of mana. And two, it's a sorcery at five mana. At five mana, if it was at least an instant, or I could play it at like my opponent's end step and then untap, like when they're not, you know, not expecting it. Five mana for sorcery. Honestly, just not interested in playing this card. Like I just, this is just too much mana. So, <laughs> um, I do think Shimmer of Possibilities. I think this is this is a lot more like like this is a lot better card. You know, you can go. It digs very very far. And it only costs two mana. Like this is something I'm much more interested in playing over um, over final parting. We could probably fit four shimmer possibilities. As Kanta was okay, but not that great. If we get Thief of Sandy just out of here, right? And then even like Hostage Taker. It was okay, but it wasn't like I needed three of them. But it honestly was okay. The thing is... She don't have a whole lot of defense. I don't know. The thing is, I would have to... I don't know. I'd want to like kind of take some time and really think about like what I'd want to be doing here. Because um, it could certainly see taking out Hostage Taker and just running like more Charter Courses also. But I think Shimmer Possibility is a real card that, that helps us dig and look for a different piece of the combo. The thing is about taking out Hostage Taker is we don't really have any we don't have very many ways to keep our opponents from killing us. So, like, just having main deck Ritual of Sets could be a thing. Of, like, where we're, like, a blue-black control deck kind of thing where we just have, like, the combo finish. Mastermind's Acquisition, similarly to Final Parting, is not something I'm interested in. Four mana for a sorcery. Like, taking your entire turn four off... To just replace one card in your hand with another card. Not something I'm too interested in. I'm not really interested in... Like, a lot of suggestions here are for cards that cost a lot of mana. Cost the four mana, five mana. I'm not really interested in playing those kind of cards when there are so many good one and two mana cards. And we could just max out on, like, Charter Course, Opt, Shimmer, Possibility, all that kind of stuff. Like, we can... You can just have so many cheap things that that rifle through your library. I'd be much, I'm much more inclined to be playing those kind of cards than expensive four and five mana cards. There's a reason why a deck like Drake's plays a bunch of ops and charter courses, because one and two mana cards are just so much easier to cast and get get through your deck a lot faster and. You don't have to, like, hope to hit all your land drops and sit around, and while your opponent's been playing creatures, then you play a Mastermind's Acquisition on four. Just not something I'm interested in. So, first test run. Uh, definitely went really well with the deck, for sure. And we saw, you know, how... Um, how it can just kind of go off from nowhere and you know you just have your arcane adaptation in play 
and then suddenly your opponent's dead. We had a couple of awesome games. That second game against Sultai in particular was perfect there. Um, but, you know, like this is the first, very first rough draft for my friend Mike. So thank, thanks again, Mike Villavicencio, for making this deck yesterday and, you know, playing through a couple leagues with it and sending it over to me. This was, this was really sweet. So I liked that. Um, but again, there's there's some things to to kind of to, toy around with, you know, like maybe move, like we're talking about, like moving away from hostage taker contempt, maybe more towards like ritual of sight kind of thing, um, more charter courses, maybe their fourth century. I don't know. There's there's definitely a lot of numbers to play around with. Um, you know, if you want to try this, you know, anybody here in chat, uh, if you want to be trying out this deck, maybe if you want to try the final partings and masterminds acquisition. Just because my opinion on, on them is that I'm not very interested in playing them because they cost a lot of mana, that doesn't mean that I'm necessarily right. You know, I, I haven't played Final Parting in the deck. You know, we just, we just started playing the deck. It's a first, it's a rough draft. So, you know, if you want to try it out, try out your Final Partings or, or anything and, you know, let me know how it goes and everything. Four centuries, probably. I feel like... I feel like it was just kind of... It was just pretty... I don't feel like that was what's always going to happen, that we had so many games where our first 30 cards, we had zero centuries in the first 30 cards. And I just don't think that that's going to be that common, especially if you start adding in things like Shimmer Possibilities, where you just have more velocity to turn through the deck. So I I don't really think... Like, I think if you add more velocity, you don't really need the 4th century. I think that was just kind of some unluck, unluckiness whatever that word is that I'm looking for there, uh, is there. So there we go. Awesome, uh, awesome deck. Uh, and if you're, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can stay tuned for all the other videos. But that's it for Demir Zombie Mill. Thanks for watching and I will